السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو انادر کمپیوٹر سائنس لیکچر ٹوڈے وی ور ڈسکسنگ سیکشن نمبر 7 الگورتھم ڈیزائن اینڈ پرابلم سولونگ اینڈ ٹوڈے ہوپ فلی وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ریپ اٹ اپ وی ار گوئنگ ٹو بی ڈسکسنگ دی لاسٹ سیکشن رادر دی لاسٹ سب سیکشن اف دس سیکشن 7 سو لیٹس گیٹ گوئنگ بیفور دیٹ please take a moment to subscribe below if you have not already and I will get to section 7.9 that is writing and amending algorithms stages in producing an algorithm uh, whenever you are writing an algorithm whether it be a flowchart or whether it be a pseudocode always remember that the problem is clearly specified The purpose of the algorithm and the tasks to be completed by the algorithm are clearly visible so your the examiner can decipher what you are trying to present as the solution. Break the problem down into sub problems if it is complex you may want to consider writing an algorithm for each sub problem separately and then join them together in one uh, in one module one code whatever you want to call it. most problems even the simplest ones they can be divided into uh you can say five uh, segments the first of all always initialize or declare your variables in the next step take the uh, necessary inputs and then the, in the third step once you have taken your requir- required input then go for the processing of the data apply formulas apply logics um apply any validation or verification checks and after that you should go for the storage of data if required this is not always required but in the new syllabus in some questions you may be required to uh, save or store your results which you have just processed onto a file on hard drive anyways we uh, will discuss that in detail in section number 8 last but not the least you have to give a output or you have to display your results before ending your algorithm decide on how any data is to be obtained what prompts you are going to give to the user in order to obtain something in what algo- what uh, variable or in what constant um, or in what data structure like in what type of array you are going to store your acquired data or hold in your acquired data what is going to happen to the data and how the results are going to be calculated and then displayed design the structure of your algorithms using a structure diagram don't show it to the examiner do it on a rough page or separately unless and until the examiner asks for it decide on how you are going to construct your algorithm whether you are going to use a flow chart or you are going to use a pseudo code if you are told how to construct your algorithm then follow the guideline if the examiner has asked for a flow chart do not write a pseudo code similarly if the pro- uh, examiner has asked for pseudo code do not draw a mm, flow chart you are going to lose all of your marks follow the instruction R- deploying proper logic is important but more important than that is to follow the instructions properly do not do something which is not mentioned in the question which is not instructed by the examiner construct your algorithm making sure that it can be easily read and understood by someone else do not uh, write in jumbled writing do not overwrite too much do not make a uh, very little and compact flow charts they are difficult to read also if the examiner gives you choice between programming statements be- between uh, pseudo code and uh, flow chart only then you are able to draw whatever you want but draw any one thing only do not write as pseudo code and draw flow chart as well go with any one solution that's it precision is required when writing algorithms so be very careful just as it is when writing programming code because in the new syllabus now there are formats for pseudo writing algorithm 
as well which we have discussed in our section 7.2 uh, so you have to be careful about using those keywords and those formats this involves setting it out clearly and using meaningful names for any data stores always all the functions all the procedures all the variables all the constant all the arrays they <coughs> have to have meaningful names do not uh, name your variables as a b c d e f g h give them proper names like the variable name should be you uh, store the names or student marks should in uh, save student marks and so on take particular care with conditions used for loops and selection do not uh, mix them up use several sets of test data normal abnormal and boundary or extreme to dry run your algorithm and show the results in trace table to find any errors often the examiner only asks you to write down an algorithm and not produce a trace table for it just for your own satisfaction just for your own uh, understanding that, that uh, just for your own verification use a pencil and dry run it or make a rough trace table somewhere uh, on a blank page so that you are certain that whatever piece of uh, pseudo code or flowchart you have drawn or written it is precise it is working properly if any errors are found correct them and repeat the process until you think that your algorithm works perfectly remember you have to revise your algorithm always and you have to dry run it after writing always that is the biggest key to success last but not the least you have to solve a lot of questions from the past paper in order to practice and be perfect in writing algorithms at times the examiner will give you an algorithm and ask you to and ask you to add some extra functionality or modify or change an existing one most common type is changing looping structures like the uh, he the examiner would give you a pseudo code where he or she um, where he has given let's suppose a while loop and he uh, would ask you to change it to for loop or maybe repeat loop if the examiner has asked you to add some extra functionality write the logic carefully and make sure that it will perform the extra task like for example the there is a question that we we solved in our previous lecture where you only have where the examiner presented a pseudo code that was supposed to um, contain some errors and it was supposed to only find out the uh, to input 30 numbers and only output the largest number possible so might be possible the examiner would give you this code and he he would ask you that modified so that along with the largest number it would also show the smallest number possible so you will for that you'll simply um, initialize another variable small equals to zero and after this if else if we are number is less than small sorry like we discussed we have to initialize small with a very big number okay and then count equals and at the end after print large we are going to print a small as well because we have calculated it so in a similar way examiner would, would give you a flowchart or a, a pseudocode and he would ask you to add some or modify it to add some additional functionality in it. the tasks are usually simple and easy to perform so don't worry you would be able to do that or might be possible the examiner would say that the the algorithm is calculating the largest number please calculate the average as well so you'll just uh, add a variable by the name of total over here and along with counter you are going to uh, perform the totaling and at the end 
after end while you are going to calculate average equals to total amount upon counter and then at the end you are going to print average uh, like we discussed in our previous uh, we in uh, 7.4 the standard methods of solution as well okay depending on marks and number of lines given you may simply explain how task would be done in up to two lines and use three to four lines to write pseudocode of just the additional functionality instead of writing the whole code again like uh, i have simply written these three lines so i'll simply explain that we are going to introduce a new variable by the name of small and then we are going to use an else if and in order to calculate it to compare it and find the smallest uh, number possible and then we are I am going to write just this line not the whole part not the whole algorithm we don't have enough time we don't have enough marks okay so that's all that you need to know about section um, 7.9 writing and amending algorithm so make sure that you practice a lot of questions from paper number two uh, from the past papers so I hope you have understood everything if there's any problem any confusion any um, thing that you do not understand feel free to ask please do give comments below whether you understand it or not and uh, please do support me like my channel subscribe to my channel and please sh uh, share it with your friends as well and I'll see you guys in the next video take care Allah Hafiz